You're looking at these beautiful tiles. Kelly, where were they from? Do you Turkey. Remember? Turkey. Turkey. Um, we're framing these uh, for a client. And the first thing to talk about is these are contemporary modern tiles. Uh, when we do finalize this project, they will be glued down. We work for a guy who collects tiles and he has some very valuable old tiles. Those are never glued down. If it's a valuable old tile, you put it down with little clips with pads on it so it doesn't hurt the tile. But this is a beautiful decorative tile. And so you want to put it into this floater frame here. Of course, the problem is you don't want the tile sitting way down there. So we have to accomplish two things. We have to raise these up. So it's just a little shy of the top. And we have to have a surface to glue these onto. A mistake people oftentimes make is they'll glue something like this on mat board. And that's only as strong as the paper. So you can use a really good glue, glue something heavy on mat board, and it can just rip right off the mat board. So what we did is, you hear me say this a lot, built this strainer back. And I've got a piece of Luon on top of it. Now this is going to get screwed onto the frame, which is why we have these holes drilled here. So this gets screwed onto the frame. This now becomes one strong rigid piece. And then once that's done, the tiles all get glued onto the wood and it should be ready to hang. I think this is gonna be just beautiful. So I'm not gonna have you watch while I get this centered and screw it all down. Um, but what we're going to do is show this to you when it's done. It's going to be very heavy, so I'll also show you how we're setting it up to hang. Thanks. Well, first of all, I always say we'll show it to you when it's done. And then Kelly says, we've got more video to do. So um, I'm going to stop saying we'll show it to you when it's done until I'm positive. It's going to be time to show it to you when it's done. Um, so anyway, uh, the strainer back and the uh, Luan has been screwed on to the back of the piece. And so when we glue these down, we want them to stay nice and centered. So these are all made of foam core. They're eighth inch shims. And uh, my plan is to take this tile out, glue it down, put the shims back, take this tile out, glue it down, put those shims back, the glue is at like a 24 hour to dry glue or at least overnight or while you're sleeping as we talked about in a previous video. So I will have some time once it's glued down to wiggle and adjust and just kind of fine tune these. All right guys, thanks. Okay, so uh, this is now all put together and we showed you how we built the strainer back and a piece of Luon to glue the tiles to. And you can see how the back looks. Now this is gonna be fairly heavy, not way too heavy, but a little bit heavy. And it'll be nice to have it on the wall really securely. So we do something called a cleat, but the, these are actually called easy bars, but it's like a cleat. It's one way to hang kitchen cabinets. So what's gonna happen is, this is going to get screwed onto here, like that. And hang on a second, I left my other piece over here. This gets screwed on like this, and you can see there's a little lip here. This then gets screwed onto the wall, and it's gonna hang just like that. It will be really, really solid. So in a few minutes, I'll show you how we put this on. So this is lined up perfectly with the top.
And what I've done is I've put this down with a little double-sided tape just to hold it in place so it's not wiggling around while I screw it down. And that's installed. Okay, we're about to finalize this project and uh, I may mention something you may be noticing that I have on a headband uh, skillfully crafted out of an old t-shirt. And the reason is I really need a haircut. And, and because of COVID, I've been sort of like hesitant to get a haircut. So I've been down here with the headband on and uh, I walked upstairs the first day I had it on and Kelly said like, what the hell are you doing? And I said, my hair keeps falling in my face and I can't see what I'm doing. Anyway, that's what the headband's about. Okay, so let's talk about finalizing this project. Now, when you have an, a cleat or an easy bar on something, usually it's really huge. So imagine you've got something that's six feet long and two feet high. It's pretty hard for two people to hold that on the wall while the client's going a little higher, a little lower, a little to the left, what do you think? And we go, well, we can't see it from our angle. Uh, so what I've come up with, and I do it for all of these, even on small pieces, is a template. This hole lines up exactly with this hole. This is exactly the same size as the piece. So once we position this on the wall, I just make a little mark on the wall. And that's where the first screw goes. And then when I hang it, it will end up exactly where the cardboard was. Okay, guys, hopefully we'll show you a picture of it when it's all hanging and everything. All right, thanks.